Jacob Wall is in the news again, and it appears that he was staging a counter protest to a press conference that he was supposed to do. So Wall and his ally, Republican lobbyist Jack Berkman, have been planning to hold a press conference today at Berkman's Northern Virginia house to push a baseless sexual assault smear against Pete Buttigieg. And then it turned out that all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there was this event on Eventbrite, and it said that it was a protest or counter protest to this press conference. Berkman tweeted a link to the Eventbrite page and called the protest against homophobic bigots, which he claimed was being used to organize a protest against his press conference with Wall. So here's his tweet, he says, hundreds of leftist protesters are set to descend on our Wednesday press conference. We will not surrender to the mob. We've called in extra security to guard our safety and that our partners are in the media. And so then you take a look at the email address that's linked to this event or this counter protest. And what is it? It's um, Jacob Wall's email it's, address. It's wallthinktank at gmail.com. Now, I can't figure out if this guy is purposely clowning himself or not. I don't think so. I think the answer is simpler. Um, and like Trump, he, he, there is no strategy. He's just an idiot. But like that is amazing, man. Another serial bungler here. You're setting up a fake counter protest against yourself, and you didn't think. Maybe I shouldn't put my own email I think as the event organizer, you moron of morons. I have to get this out. I think that this is a common practice among right wingers. I think it's a common practice, especially of the so called um, I, uh, the IDW or the dark web, intellectual dark web. I think that they stage protesters to make it seem like leftists are crazy and that they're you know against free speech. I know that sounds conspiratorial. It's but right here. It's right here, <laughs> yeah. And, and so look, I'm glad that there was someone stupid enough to use his own email address when doing it. No, they're just the clownish tip of the spear of what right wingers do on a regular basis. And the reason why some right wingers are now getting upset at them is they're like, you're revealing secrets of the of our trade by accidentally bungling your way into these situations. So this funny. is conservative 101, pretend to be the victim, do something terrible to the other side, and then claim you're a victim of their potential violence. You'll see it in every story. Thanks for watching this free clip of the Young Turks. Don't forget to become a TYT member today. For more exclusive content, join now at tyt.com slash join.